The new Supernote Nomad has rapidly become a instant hit. You can't even find it really in stock anymore on their website. It's just that in demand right now. But one of the coolest things besides the nice pen line, the new gesture interfaces, and the updated software is really the modular design and the pin dock here, which opens the floodgates for a lot of new accessories that we might be able to see. So I've been thinking about some accessories the past few months that I've had it that we could potentially see integrated soon. And I wanted to discuss those in this video. Well, I think Supernote is probably gonna be very busy trying to produce more of these and making the upcoming A5X2. The potential for actual third-party collabs is really there because they've opened up a lot of the actual design. So people can buy like magnets, they wanna make cases. Supernote provides everything you want, right? Like you can get refill ballpoint or, you know, ceramic nib ballpoint pen replacements so you can make your own pen. They're really, you know, catering to that market. I expect we'll see a lot of accessories from Supernote, but those could take some time. The potential here is really unlimited. So I've broken this down into five kind of topics here that we can discuss and uh, look at in terms of what we could actually expect. I've ranked them in no particular order here, but just kind of just to separate the ideas. The first one here, I actually did a whole other dedicated video on, so I'll link that up here for you. But basically, some form of laptop integration where with the pin dock back there, this could sit into it would be actually super cool. And I'll insert a little footage here of Kit and I talking about what his kind of ideal form factor would be like. I think they should have a e-ink screen like this. It would have to be a bigger laptop or a smaller e-ink screen, but could you imagine this is your full-size keyboard, so enough space for a little tablet off to the side, which is like your scratch pad, basically. Yeah, and that one had a siloed pen too, which is sweet. Yeah, and then you could just pull that out, you know, and that could, that's almost like the satellite device. You could take that and read something on the on the sofa, you know, but it's got all the access to all the files on this. It's got a low-powered Android system here. This use case is compelling for people, having it next door to your laptop like that. Yeah. Uh, that's, it's okay. that's well, well, if, uh, if Lenovo were to make an e-ink, integration device is that is that what you think your ideal one would be i think so and then something like a nomad which is 7.8 inches could potentially slot in there should note that the laptop integration would probably only work with the nomad or the a6x2 the a5x2 is just rather large to integrate into a laptop the second kind of concept i was thinking about would be something like a game boy light now if you don't remember the Game Boy had a kind of older matrix type screen that really didn't look good unless you had direct lighting. So you can see it looks almost pitch black there. And then when I put it in the light, then it's reflective and you can kind of see. But, you know, Supernote, they've talked about how they're dedicated to the writing experience. So they want to keep it with no front light. This might be more of a niche product, but I'm sure there are people that would appreciate something that could dock. Those of you that might be younger and might not remember, this little port here used to have a little squiggly light attachment that would create a light over it. Uh, I used to have one for this and for my Game Boy Advance, but unfortunately in one of my moves I lost it. But I'll insert some footage here so you can kind of get the reference there. So that could be an option, some form of little just thing that pops out. Another one I was thinking of was the pen top. So I have this little book light, just kind of swivels around. You'll see when it pops out, it just auto turns on. This one's obviously battery powered, but potentially it could be powered by the actual device. And so this is a very small shape. I was wondering if there isn't some sort of pen cap they could make that could double as a light attachment, which would be pretty cool. Now, one of my favorite pens growing up was actually this pen that I got in Japan, and it was called a Sunlight Electric Pen. And it was not my favorite writing pen in terms of like the feel, but it was probably the most useful pen that I had. And I'll try to explain why really quickly. 
So, so if I open it up, and there's no doubt that this probably won't work right now. The battery is probably 20 years old. But this whole chamber here has a light. And when it shoots the light out, it kind of is reflective. So it illuminates the surface you're writing on, which is really cool. Let's, let's take a look. This battery might be completely corroded. We'll see. Yeah, that's the original battery, actually. Toshiba. Is that a, it's not even a, is it a AAA? Maybe it's AAA. All right, I'll be right back. Let's see if this works. <laughs> a few moments later. All right, so I think, let's slide things up. I think this is a AAA. Let's uh, check out if I have a few here. Let's see. Oh, fingers crossed. This would be sweet if this worked. Holy hell, it works. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let me, I'm gonna, it's gonna get a little dark. I'm gonna turn this light off, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So you can see here, and I, I'll dim this one too. But you can see it illuminates. So, I mean, this could, this is like 20 years old, 25 years old, but this could completely be redesigned in a better way where it could have more flow of light that could be a really cool uh, idea give a give a thumbs up if you'd like to a see my old japanese pen collection and b maybe try to adapt this to one of the super note nibs i don't know that could be cool so anyways yeah it just kind of twists on and off i can't believe this works still <laughs> well definitely start using this again i'll keep the original battery here for a little memento Okay, so back to the Nomad. The last one would just be something like a light here that, you know, right now I have this little puck here that if you see I can control the light on my desk. It's wireless. So it's a little puck that connects to a light bar on my monitor and I can just kind of tweak the, the lighting really quickly. Great for something like this because it's off angle. So I don't get glare. You shouldn't be getting any glare either here but it looks a little bit like this and could maybe just be something that clipped on and has a light that shines down that way. And so when it's illuminating down that way, it won't cause glare. Like you will get when you look directly onto the super note with a light, you will get some glare. I don't know if it's because of feel right too or the layer underneath, but you will get that. I mean, also they could just make, you know, a little attachment you could have in your, your pocket like that, that would illuminate maybe a little brighter than this one. It's not the brightest. Now, next up we have the keyboard here. So just like Remarkable has done, I don't know if this would be the most practical for the A6X2, because if you can imagine here, having a keyboard here, it's gonna be pretty cramped, even smaller than like an iPad mini. Those do have keyboard accessories, but I don't really know how useful they might be. Chime down in the comments if you have one and, and find it actually useful. Now, I was on a live stream with Kit and you know, he mentioned that these, this is really, as you, when you open it, you'll see it's for those that write. But now that they have Atelier, he brings up a good point that it's for those that kind of just create in general, more so than this. For writing, and as you say now, it's like they've always had this tagline for those who write, and now they've added this sort of for those who draw. I haven't said it like that, but I think, I think it is for those who draw as well. And it is just like, for your creative person right next to your keyboard, I think that's where they're going. And whereas I think Remarkable are marketing more in your kind of business meeting kind of uh, um, category, I think this now is your sort of creative person, which is it's you and I really, and that's our, our use case for, um, for the laptops, is our use case for these things as well. So for the A5X2, I certainly think we could see something like the type folio. That is another creative way to interface. Surely you can hook up Bluetooth keyboards to the Nomad, but that is not the most ideal way to interface because there is a little lag. But something like Typefolio for an A5X2 with the Pogo pin integration down here could make typing a really viable experience on the Supernote where they could enter that market as well. One of the items I'd be most excited for 
would be some form of a solar cell integration into the case. And so while I was originally doing a little mock-up here and I kind of put it, you know, on the outside. So if you have uh, it in the sun, it could uh, charge a little bit there. Uh, I think actually it might be more practical if you had it on the inside panel here. So this, for example, is a battery bank. It's about 2,700 milliamp hours. The Supernote Nomad battery for reference. This uh, little panel right here is uh, 2,700 milliamp hours, roughly 10 times the capacity here. But I find that sometimes if I leave this on a desk and it is getting sun, it can charge a decent amount, like maybe 10%, 20% per day. I think something like that makes more sense to have on the inside just because then when you're actively using it, it's charging, which you're, let's be honest, you're probably using it more often open like this than you would be just leaving it somewhere in the sun where it could charge. So yeah, having maybe something like a three to four watt solar cell that could fit on the inside or the back or both, who knows, right? Like then uh, you could optimize the amount it's getting charged. But realistically, this is a uh, 1.9 watts, this panel here. So something like this could be potentially three to four watts and uh, just be a nice little um, solar cell that could charge your device and mean that you never really have to charge it potentially. This is one of my biggest pet peeves is like I have so many gadgets and I'm always charging them. And while they charge quickly, it's just sometimes you go to use the thing you want to use and it's not charged. That being said, these do also have very good battery life. So the next item I want to discuss is the fact that I think a lot of cases will be coming out for this. Now, originally I was a little confused why they made two versions, like the white one but also made a clear one that is much harder to access with all these screws. You know, this is a, a few minute operation to get into. The white one has little pull tabs and a section here and here that just kind of pops out. But I kind of finally realized why they did that. And it really comes down to the sides. So the crystal version that I have here, the sides peer up to the top. And so you can imagine that you could customize this a lot better with a case that's either 3D printed or made by Supernode or something. Like I could have a blue one that would peer up on the top and show like and match the color of the pen, for example. But one of the things I was thinking, it'd be cool in terms of like a uh, notebook looking device, having the sides be kind of these pages. So make it look more like a notebook on the side here, perhaps. Personally, I really, really like the clear one, the crystal one here. I think this is reminiscent of a time when tech was a little more fun, you know, like the, uh, the Game Boy or stuff like this, or if you remember the old Macs and stuff, I uh, clearly like clear tech. So <laughs> uh, this one's right up my alley. It's just a very nostalgic kind of period. So I probably wouldn't change it. I would maybe consider something if it had more of a notebook look, is drop a comment down below on some accessory ideas you might have. If you wanna check out my video I did about laptop and keyboard integration for e-ink devices, you can check that out up here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.